All right, so we got our rosin back on the heat. We got some wood ash. And uh, we're gonna melt this, add our wood ash. It is one tenth of the amount of rosin that you start with is how much wood ash you need. Now you can fiddle with the recipe as much as you want and figure out, <clears throat> you know, what works best for you. And you might want to try calcium lime, but this is just stuff that you can make on your own at home and all it takes is the only thing you'd have to buy is a tea light or some wax or make your own wax if you are a bee or have bees. So we're all melted down now. I'm going to add my six grams of wood ash. Oh, it was 5.8 grams of wood ash. Now we're starting to see it bubble up. This is where it turns um, that green color too, which is kind of fun. Or the time that I made it last, it did. So I'm just going to let it mix in. Well, it stops bubbling. behind whatever was heaviest and didn't want to come out and I'm also going to leave whatever's left in there mm. okay, dope. let's see you got quite a bit left in there so that is our stuff we're going to we're gonna let it cool one more time so we can collect it. We'll clean up all of our equipment right now. I might even leave this on there, getting warm for a while, so it kind of drips off. Take our spatula, put it over there as well. Maybe I'll go clean that. Cleaning doesn't matter. Well, it does matter, you should clean, but uh, I'm kind of trying to show you that I think this process works just fine and you don't have to, uh, you know, use the most perfect clean material to make it from the tree. You can, you can leave it kind of dirty and it's going to get the job done. As long as it holds on to your stone, that's the entire point. But, I mean, it's something like... 10 cents worth of wax or whatever that, not even, it's like 5 cents worth of wax to make, you know, that's probably a good 2 or 3 sticks worth of dop wax, 3 sticks worth of dop wax will last me months, so, alright, well, I ran into some issues, I don't know why, I think it has something to do with that wax I used, but it became way super duper sticky. And it doesn't harden at all anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and remelt it. This is going to be my last attempt to even save this stuff at all. But I'm going to add some calcium lime to it. We're just going to skip the wood ash. White wood ash is a form of calcium lime if you need it. Um, but we might as well. You can use oyster shells. There's all kinds of stuff you can use to get lime. I just wanted to use that one because it seemed appropriate for using you can make this stuff pretty much just the tree and some wax. But uh, anyways, you get the picture. So we're going to try to save this with some calcium lime. Hopefully it makes it harden. Um, 
If not, we're gonna go ahead and harvest some new stuff. And I have some just beeswax here, and we'll use that instead, just in case that other stuff had weird chemicals. And we'll use calcium lime, and we'll try it and see what happens. Okay, woo, I saved it. So I ended up adding, um, I, th I think the wood ash I was trying to use just didn't have enough calcium lime in it. So, and I pretty much, it all came out again. It didn't even dissolve into it. So I just added five grams. There might be a little extra, but I doubt it's much. I added another five grams. So one tenth of the original amount of rosin that you, you start with one tenth of that amount calcium lime and it's I buy it uh, from like a carniceria uh, it's used for nixtamalizing corn to make tortillas so that's a place that you can buy calcium lime you could probably also buy it at Home Depot or any other weird weird any other uh, area that sells like concrete equipment and stuff like that so now you can even see it setting up more just on the spatula itself that's what we want okay so I think we're ready to go ahead and pour it out I don't even think we need to strain it again we're going to pour it into our molds and one of those molds is going to have a wick in it See if that works to be able to uh, light it and dot. And one way to clean a lot of this stuff is up uh, is just to warm it up. It's hydrophobic, so you don't want to use water or it just will repel it. But you'll heat it up, melt it, and just wipe it out with a paper towel. All right. So now the last thing to do is it's kind of windy out, so I'm not sure if this will work outside. But we'll light up our candle and find out. If uh, can be used to melt the top wax. Uh, I'm not so sure it's gonna work. Uh, either way, we have our ocean spray stick cut up into a couple of top sticks. It's good and dry too, so yeah, looks like it's working. So we'll just kind of let that burn for a minute. <clears throat> I think ultimately these are probably the better way to go. So we'll put one up on this warm grill here, just in case we need it. But you can imagine too if you if you had a little way to set it up above another candle, totally melt it and have a little pot. Ready to go. Well, I'm not gonna lie, I don't think this is the. Yeah, I'm not, I don't think this is the way to do this, but we'll just get that started. You can see. Basically, how it worked a little bit, but not gonna do a little bit, but not gonna. But the candle theory does actually work. We're gonna go ahead and throw this on the grill. Get it hot and make the rest of our dop stick. We'll dop up these two stones and then we'll go polish them and see how the wax holds up. Okay, so here we go. We got our warm stone that we've got the wax. Get them out. And we don't want to push it down so far that it's like touching the stick. I want just a little bit of wax in between. Stick and stone. And then once it can set enough to pull the stone up, we're going to very quickly turn it around. And we're going to square everything up. Make sure we're sitting good and then dip it in water and that'll make the wax set and stay in place. And there we go. Now that it's been cooled in the water, and it might take a minute or two to fully cool down, but I mean it's on there. Oh, they're good, actually. This is probably the better wax that I've made. I think the calcium lime, buying that and using that is the way to go. But if you need wood ash, or if you need calcium lime and you don't have it and want to make it, you can totally use white wood ash. 
where you can bake oyster shells, cook them in the fire until they, uh, when you add water to them, they'll bubble up and they'll make hydrated calcium lime. And um, you can take that calcium hydroxide and break it down and you'll have the lime that you need to make to use it in this stuff. So, but yeah, it works. We'll go ahead and top the other one up. We'll go to the lap and we'll finish polishing them up. But you, you want to make sure you are not sparing on this wax. And you need to make sure that you're using plenty of it on there and a big enough stick. So if you don't use enough of it, that's when they actually pop off. Okay. Alrighty, so here we got our dot wax. The first one, we're all shaped up on this guy, so I'm just gonna maybe do a little bit of this just to That's usually when I get them popping off too, is uh, when I'm pushing, you know, like that. So. As you can see, so far, it's not very really nice. This point, I'm pushing it hard. Way harder than I ever would. Yeah, you know. Pulled really well. Alright. Alright, y'all. Well, our wax has survived long enough, but I'm going to just say that uh, we're good to go. This stuff's working awesome. Once again, you can use this type of wax for all kinds of stuff, man. Anything you can come up with that uses something like this. Some jeweler's wax to carve rings out of. Um, I believe the amount of calcium you put into it lowers and raises the melting temperature. It also makes it much more brittle and hard when it's cold. So uh, just keep that in mind. You know, your your materials might vary and the percentages and all of that the wax you use might be something a little bit different but i think the most important part is to add that calcium line and make sure that the color starts to change to a green and take out little dots of it at a time let them cool down and check how hard they are you know and if it's not hard enough then put more lime with calcium line but yeah that is the way to go it works just great and it smells amazing.